In this clip, we're going to rotate our cycle so that we can see it from all different angles, and that's really what this is use, useful for. But before we do that, what I need to do is I need to, I need to basically create animation outside of our cycle. Okay, because right now this is our this is the problem is when we get to 24, everything pretty much stops. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go a little bit further. We want we want to create our walk that goes beyond beyond the cycle and we're going to do that by cycling them if you will and again we'll have to show you what that looks like I'm going to press the all button and then I'm going to go to our good friend the animation graph editor Windows animation graph editor and I need to pull this out and push this back so we can see what's going to happen here I need to grab all of my controls so I'm going to click at the top of the list hold down the shift key and click at the last attribute on our on our list here. I'm going to go to view and I'm going to tell it to go to with infinity. Now right now it is set to constant and that's why when this gets to the end the animation stops. I'm going to, next I'm going to go to curves post infinity and I'm going to choose cycle. And now if you look closely you can see that all of these curves are repeated all the way pretty much forever. Now I'm going to create a five second walk cycle. So to do that I'm going to need 120 frames. And I'm going to press play, and now you'll see that that animation, even though there are no keys, that goes all the way to 120. And look, when it comes to the end, because my keys are 24 frames long, basically I'm getting a perfect loop out of this this out of this cycle. So that's a good thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how I want to do the rotation. I'm going to use the translate control to do this. And so. What I want to do, I, my question is, how many rotation, how many times do I want them to revolve around? And if it's one, then I'm going to use 360 as my value. If it is two, it's going to be 720. And if it's three, it is going to be, I believe, 1080. That's going to be our, our, our cycle. So basically, the way I'll, I'll start this is I will click on my translate control, and I'm going to go to the rotate Y attribute, and I'm going to key it. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down to 120. And I'm going to type in, oh, let's type in 360. Okay, and press play. And now we'll see he's rotating. And I can see my walk in all of its glory and has the added virtue of being pretty much cycled so that it will continue to rotate no matter how many times I play this. All right, so with that in mind, let's say I want to go to... A little more. Let's say I want to go to 720. Now it'll do it twice. And it will rotate a little faster. Sure, we can go to 1080. Let's see, that's 360 plus 720 is 1080. All right, and that'll be even faster. That may be a little too fast, but really it, it is kind of up to you. Also, we can go the opposite direction. I can type in negative 360, and it will go back the other way. That may be the way to go. I don't know. This is basically just to illustrate the walk from a stationary walk cycle, but we see it from all angles. It gives a little bit better, a little, little bit better to look as to how the cycle is going. Now, in the next clip, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it moving forward. And we're going to see that the reason why you might want to do a animation like this is to show off the walk cycle. Because once he starts moving forward, he's actually walking at a pretty good clip. And it's kind of hard to zero in on uh, and seeing all the, all the details of the walk cycle. But again, that's for the next clip.